This is filmed with an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this is filmed with an iPhone 15 Pro Max. But also this is filmed with an iPhone 15 Pro Max. But how can it be that it looks so different? So today we're having a look at the different formats you can record video in using an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And we're gonna find the format which is more suitable for you. In this video, we're comparing the different formats you can film in using the 24 mm lens recorded in 4K. Let's start off with the iPhones built in camera using the settings straight out of the box. Watching this footage back on your phone, it looks pretty good. The colors look great, it's nice and sharp. Filming in this normal mode takes up very little space on your phone. It's easy to share with your friends and family, and it's very easy on your computer if you want to edit this footage. However, if you're planning on editing your footage, showing it on a bigger screen, not only on an iPhone screen, you'll quickly see there's unwanted noise in the image. This is where the iPhone 15 Pro gives you the option on filming in a high quality, professional format, Apple ProRes. ProRes is the same format or codec found in many professional cameras. It has much more information in each frame, so that unwanted noise is now gone. Furthermore, as there is so much more information in each frame, it is also noticeably sharper and you can play it back on big screens without any problems. You might need a slightly more powerful computer to edit this footage, but an entry-level MacBook Air will handle this very well. The drawback of filming in ProRes 422HQ is the file sizes are so much bigger and you might fill up your iPhone storage quicker than expected. However, there are workarounds to this, which we'll get back to later in the video. You also have the option of filming in high dynamic range or HDR on the iPhone Pro Max. This means that you have more information in the shadows and the highlights. On your phone, it might look amazing, depending a bit on your taste. But if you want to edit this footage, you might run into a few issues. First of all, you might not have a computer with an HDR screen. And second of all, HDR footage is using a different color space than most formats. So if you mix SDR footage and HDR footage on the same timeline, depending a bit on the editing software you're using, the colors might look different. There are ways of fixing this using, for example, color space transform, but it's an extra step you need to take when editing your footage. Playing back your video on a newer smartphone like the 15 Pro Max, the colors still might look a bit different compared to your computer. Filming in the cinematic mode gives you a more, well, cinematic look. It has a shallow depth of field or blurry background like a more professional camera has. You can choose how blurry the background is, which is quite amazing. And if you want to, you can remove it all together. This cinematic mode works great sometimes, but it can also look a bit fake, especially if the f-stop is set to f4 or faster. The iPhone is trying to guess what you want to have in focus and not, and many times it guesses wrong. You can go back and fix this later on your iPhone, which is pretty impressive. I still like this mode, but I would never use this for a more professional shoot. That's where Log comes in. Log is the professional's choice. It films in a very flat color profile. The color seems almost a bit washed out and there's almost no contrast in the image. But this gives the editor or colorist the flexibility in choosing how the final image should look like. Again, you have a higher dynamic range, so you have more information in both the shadows and the highlights. I'm not doing a low light test in this video, but if you need to shoot at night or in a low light situation, the log format might be your best option. You can easily get a quick color space transform from Apple Log to Rec 709 and further grade it from there. This is obviously a professional codec and should only be used by people having some experience filming in log. On the other side, it's also a great tool if you want to start practicing filming in log. 
Now, in all of the footage that we have seen so far, there is something that is annoying both me and many other iPhone users, and that is the skin tone and the beautification that the iPhone does. Your skin gets kind of smoothed out, sometimes to the point that it's starting to look even a bit plasticky. It's keeping the eyes very sharp, but it almost looks retouched. Now, you might actually want this look as it does make us look a little bit younger, but if you don't want these orange skin tones or the beautification to your skin, there is a way of doing so. This video is not using any of the formats that we have looked at so far. The built-in ProRes 422 HQ is too big for my usage and I don't need that much information in each frame. Furthermore, I prefer to control as much as possible when I'm filming and I don't want the iPhone to tell me what skin tone I should have. The camera software Blackmagic has developed is a free app called Blackmagic Camera App which gives you a 100% control of all of your iPhone's camera settings like ISO, shutter speed, white balance and much more. Furthermore, you have more codecs to choose from. I have found the ProRes 422 Rec 709 to be a dream to work with. The files are not as big as the built-in ProRes 422 HQ and I don't need to film in log. Speaking of log, the built-in camera's log profile is more difficult to color grade compared to the Blackmagic's log. I don't know why, but I prefer the Black Magic log profile. So after using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for about two weeks now, I must say I love using it and I will use it more than I originally thought, as the video quality is on par with a DSLR camera. And yes, I will do a comparison video about that soon. If your footage will mainly stay on your phone and it's to be shared with friends and family, maybe some social media stuff, you can easily use the straight out of the box, the normal 4K mode. It's a great format to document your holidays and special events like birthdays and it looks really good and it takes up little space on both your phone and your computer or even in the cloud. I will probably use this mode most for my personal stuff and maybe mix in some cinematic footage knowing this will mainly be seen on a newer iPhone. If you want that extra quality in your footage, I'd go for the Blackmagic camera app, filming in ProRes 422, saving tons of space compared to the iPhone's ProRes 422 HQ. And this has become my go-to format when I'm using my iPhone 15 Pro Max for some content for my YouTube videos. Stay tuned for a comparison on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and a DS SLR camera because I don't think you'll see the difference. See you in the next one. Peace.